Hey guys, hope you are doing well. Here I am with another mini course series where we will develop a real world web application in Rails 7. We will work with so many features that you can use in your projects or at least that can help you in building features for your projects or give you an idea how to build complex feature in a Rails application. In this series, we will work with Rails 7, Bootstrap 5 and the Stripe. So what is Stripe? So Stripe is a widely used payment processing system and we will be using Stripe in great details in our course project of this series. Okay, we will manage customers, charges, cards, subscription, invoices, refunds and other Stripe resources uh, in our Rails application. Okay, we will develop a real world application where customer can find educational workshops and then they can book those workshops and will and we will implement features using Stripe where we will ask customer to pay for the tickets. We will also handle the notification for the customers using email. I mean, whenever a customer confirms his booking, he will get notified by an email. Okay. Whenever a customer submits the request for the refund, the money, if he want to cancel his booking, both site admin and the customer will get notified by email and many at many more such events. So if I summarize this, so at the end of this series, you will be more familiar with action mailers, both in terms of sending emails and also in deciding that when to send these emails. Okay. We will also create tickets for customer and we will generate the QR code for those tickets. Okay. So this part will also be a great thing to learn. Okay. For example, if you talk about uh, very popular online event booking system like eventbrite.com or bookmyshow.com so whenever you generate a ticket for movie or some events you will get a ticket with some qr code okay so we will implement the same feature in our course project okay and we will also discuss and work on best practices of writing code and how to keep code refactor and dry Okay, so I'm sure this series is going to be very exciting to learn how to build real world web application or at least how to think about that way so one can work on real world apps. Okay, so enough talking and let's give this series a try. Thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture where we will set up the new Rails 7 application from scratch using Bootstrap for our course project. Till then, Tata, goodbye, take care and stay safe.